there. We are Claire and Nick Butcher, and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Monday morning, and there's a surprise that's just about to arrive. It is father-in-law and it is mother dearest. And what could this be on the back? <laughs> really, what's this? <laughs> well, it looks like it's wood. <laughs> you make this. Mm. Mm. It's all the door. Is it? Brought it up here to show you it off. Because <laughs> <laughs> that weighs about 700 weight. What's that in English? 700 weight. <laughs> well, that is. Was that in modern money? Oh, just over a quarter of a ton. 250 kilos? Yeah, easy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, what are you going to do with that then? <laughs> Lift it. Well, this is this is part of your, your birthday present this year for your your 50th. <laughs> and I, I very kindly commissioned my father to make an outdoor table. Yes. Okay, <laughs> yes. Well, it's an outdoor table. There you go. <laughs> if you want, you can get a bit of oak filler. Is this the top? Yeah. Top yeah. You can get a bit of oak filler and fill them in if you want. Gonna put some um, oil on it. Some? Oil. That, there's one class when you put mice. Someone puts mice on their stuff, don't they? Yep, the mousemen of Kilburn. We get the, we get the wasp. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you are looking a gift horse in the mouth I'm... here. <laughs> wow. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, time for a coffee. And uh, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Guess who's here? <laughs> Nana. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Nana. Now sit. Sit. Come on. Sit. Some for Merlo. Now sit. <laughs> Some for Merlo. There we go. Hey, you better get the back of the fish off So there we have it, we have 
one oh bless you we have one table in place and it's not going to move because it's that heavy <laughs> Hey, well, I bought a couple of pergolas last week and father-in-law um, is here and he's inspiring me to get on and get these posts in and so that's what we're doing today. told me keep your bush well trimmed <laughs> And he's at it again. Well, I just placed the top beams on top of here for now. I need to level them out or space them out equally and then screw them down. There's also some sort of corner diagonal pieces to put in, but I'm going to wait to do all of that. Wait till at least tomorrow for, for the concrete to go off. Um, but there you go. I'll walk away a bit so you get a better view of it. Look at that. Our pergola. And there we go, another day down, progress, and it's home time for somebody. Well, good morning. Um, I've been out this morning, a quick trip to the Brico, bought some paint to just finish off up there. So uh, that's what I'm doing. And if you're wondering why I've been wearing my sunglasses up the ladder, well, three reasons. Firstly, when I've been up there looking up, the sun's been in my eyes. Point number one. Point number two, I've been scraping remnants of this ivy off the wall. So I've been using it as eye protection so I don't get all the bits in my eyes. 
point number three, that looked good. I thought I'd just take you up the ladder here before I move it along to show you what this is. Um, now a lot of big chateaux would have a pigeon air. This being a smaller property, we don't have a pigeon air. This is like pigeon holes. Let me show you. So these little recesses here, in theory, pigeons could be nesting in there. There aren't any. And in fact, the only pigeons we've ever had, well, there have been some near the top of that tree over there. And we did have some nesting along here and possibly some up, up there. So they haven't been using their allocated accommodation. Anyway, it's a nice little feature that you don't find on every house, do you? Right, well, enough chit chat. I've got to get on. Well, there we go. That's just finished off that bit of painting, which I think you'll probably agree has brightened up the whole wall. Let's have a look. Yeah, what a transformation. Hi, and welcome back to Inside the Maison de Maitre. Woo. Today is a big day, we have guests. So I am starting off by giving most of this a really good cleaning blitz. I will be perfectly honest, I have not been in here for probably a couple of months now. With focusing out outside, we've not really had time to be in here. So I've got my bag of cleaning stuff. I have my trusty Hoover Henri and let's go. I'm cracking on with the cleaning, um, but I just wanted to kind of stop and go and do something. And I thought I'd share a really, really nice moment. I've always kind of thought about this when, ah, oh, buying a house in France. Oh, I've just gone out to the garden to pick some of the lovely flowers that I have grown. Isn't that a really nice moment though? I've grown these. Well, you saw father-in-law and myself put together uh, this pergola yesterday and so what I'm going to do today get get rid of all the supports hopefully the thing will still stay upright I'm sure it will and then we've got these sort of, I think they're more decorative than, than anything else these sort of triangular bits to, to fit up there um, so yeah that's what I'm going to get it on with now
And there you have it. The double pergola is now assembled. Quite pleased with that. Don't know what you think, but I think that looks good. After a couple of hours, it's had a really, really good clean. And I'm in here and I'm just doing the final touches. Nice things. Flowers and smellies and tissues and water. Bathroom is all done too. Looking nice, smelling fresh, sparkly clean. Well, I do hope that our guests enjoy staying in here tonight. Um, I need to go get myself ready now and get myself off to uh, off to the shops to get some dinner for this evening. Um, I've also had a fun morning of cleaning in other places too. I've managed to give the temporary dining room a quick once over. Um, it was a wee bit dusty and there was also uh, some damp in here. Uh, I think that the window had had a little leak over over winter but it's still looking good I was I was a bit worried when I walked in here that the ceiling might have been affected by that little uh, earthquake that we had but thankfully it's all good and given the cloak crew once over as well I don't know whether anybody else's husband does this but mine likes to vary what toilet he uses quick change and now flying trip to the shop. It's really nice out and about today. I've just driven past a field and I've noticed that the sunflowers are all starting to come out. Yay! What am I cooking for our guests this evening? A prawn and salmon starter followed up by a classic steak and frit. Shopping done, back in the car. I've treated myself to some kind of smoothie for lunch today. 26 degrees. And that tastes like pond. I don't know how many of you can relate to this scenario, but I, having a truck, I tend to put the shopping on the back seat in the cab. And occasionally, if you make a wrong movement with the car, you lose all of the shopping out of the shopping bag and on your way home you can hear it rumbling around on the back seat and you just know that in a month's time there's going to be a smell and you're going to look under your seat and you're going to find something that's wedged under there during the journey like a plum or a pack of prawns uh, sometimes it's just an epic fail Oh, well that's been a rush round, but I'm pleased to say everything is prepped and ready. All of the food's prepped and ready for this evening. Uh, I've laid the table for in the morning. That's how prepared I am. One step ahead. I have also laid the table for this evening's dinner. The chairs are currently pushed back so that Flora doesn't uh, attempt to jump on the table. Flowers are ready. And there should be about an hour before they get here. So it's a really, really quick swim in a shower. I've earned it. <laughs> and so our guests have arrived. Here we are. 
we're going to try and do a wine of the week, but we're going to do it in a different way to normal. We're going to try four. This is a mega wine of the week. Four. Four wines. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to only have a thimble. <laughs> so let's have a look at the wines. This is a Rui. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Yes, that's close oh. enough. Yeah. So Just have to do a Champigny <gasps> from the Val de Roire. Oh, it's another Rui. And uh, it's not Manitou, it's a Manitou. No, Manitou. <laughs> Manitou Salon. Well, there we go. What shall we try first? Oh, oh. I would suggest that we try the whites first because we want the reds to breathe slightly. First on the so trial sweet. tonight is going to be Menetou, Menetou okay. Salon. What grape? What grape? What, what, what grape? What grape? We don't want to spit it out, do we? No, no. no. Total waste. We're only doing the spitting out thing. <laughs> this might be a protracted <laughs> tasting session. <laughs> not often I get to. Not often I get to use that word. Rather than a vertical this might, tasting, it could end up horizontal. This might have to be one of your <laughs> pop-up vlogs. <laughs> yeah. That you suggested. It's probably wine the of the week. week. <laughs> <laughs> And by now you've probably worked out that our guests are Tony and Jane from Not Quite a Chateau DIY YouTube channel. Oh, so welcome good. and uh, thank you for oh, yeah. Wine of the Week. Cheers. Marvellous. Oh, well, time is flying by. They all sat at the table. I'm over here with the barbecue, but that's okay. They're just sitting down having a chat and wine. <laughs> well, that's as, as the romance. We are a bit <laughs> further on in the evening now. We haven't drunk all of the wine. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing our best. This is the Samour Champigny. 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 Something like that. <laughs> and we are all having a glass. That's very really yeah? nice. That, that is. That's fruity. Yeah. I will allow you to eat my steak with that drink. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. We've well, we still got one more to taste. <laughs> And so, a fantastic evening was had by all. Uh, all of the wine got drunk. I forgot to video the last one. And our guests have left to go home. Good morning, Mr. B. Are you having breakfast at our table? Oh, you seem to have something round your mouth. Hi everyone and happy Sunday. Now, we've decided to cut this week's video short just by a little bit. Uh, I think we can safely say that we've already done Wine of the Week with Tony and Jane, or at least four Wines of the Week. We may have missed a couple. Uh, <laughs> uh, the reason why we're cutting this week short a little bit is because this coming week uh, we have my brother and his family coming to visit and stay for a couple of nights. Now, my brother's slightly older than me, not seen each other for a few years. So I'm gonna put the camera down for this one. Also, he's got children and I want to respect their privacy and we want to enjoy the family time a bit. So camera's going down. However, join us next Sunday when we are going to give you a reveal of our outdoor dining area. Now we've been working hard on this all week. We still have a few days left. We've not finished it. We are going all guns blazing with this one and it's starting to look magnificent. So thanks for watching and we will see you next Sunday evening where we will give you a room reveal. It's been a while. 